So typically we have uh, 75 students or recent graduates from across the country who are studying uh, performing arts, so theater, uh, singers. We have uh, 32 members of the vocal company. Uh, we have 18 orchestra members. In addition, we have uh, costume technicians, scenic technicians, uh, designers, costume design, set design, lighting design, as well as a uh, staff of business uh, students. So that means a typical summer would involve uh, a range of shows and they'll perform uh, six performances a week and then they would repeat every week a new show for nine weeks. This year is very different. Uh, this will be the first year in our history, over 50 years, where there will be no live performances. So this summer is going to be all virtual. What we came up with was a program uh, creating what we're calling Digital Clock, which is not a replacement for Clock. It is not a replacement for live theater, but it is uh, a series of master classes, basically for each department, um, which would then result in content for nine broadcasts that we would be able to do over the course of what would have been our traditional clock season. Please pull a few strings for the melody. Don't care if a solo is teeny. It's you know, we're not taking Pirates of Penzance and doing that virtually because that. Uh, is just impossible for us to do. But what we are doing is offering our students uh, various challenges and projects each week that then will be recorded and edited and uh, put together into a uh, one of these nine weekly broadcasts that, uh, that we're planning on, on showing on our Facebook page and also together with FCTV, hopefully. The videos are really just a, a, a snippet or a, you know, a quick look into what's happening. This really, you know, this really comes down to like uh, our mission and getting to the root of our mission, which is really to be a training ground. And um, while we provide very good world-class entertainment because we, we gather some of the best uh, students from around the country, that's actually not our mission. Our mission is to provide a place for them to work and improve themselves and prepare themselves for what will hopefully be a career in, in this field. And I keep saying this to the staff, but we're, you know, we're building the bicycle while we're riding it. And uh, that's scary, but it's also exciting. And I think that the students have already shown uh, uh, interest in that and um, they've already come up with some really great, great ideas and suggestions.